in the previous lesson, we downloaded and installed Backup and Sync app. And in this one, we're going to take a look at how to set it up. So now for that, I need to go on to my start menu and then I'm going to search for backup. So I'm just going to type in back and over here, there's backup and sync from Google. It has been installed so I can access it from right here. Once I open that out, the setup window will open up. So it is opening, it's the app is loading. And here it says, welcome to backup and sync and all of your files are at your fingertips. So let's get started. So once we hit started, we have to sign in onto our Google account first. So I'm just going to type in my Google account and then I'm going to hit next. I need to then enter my password and I'm going to hit next again. So once I do that, what happens is that it'll access out our files. And over here, it says choose your folders from your computer to continuously backup to Google Drive as well. So you can choose your desktop, your documents and pictures by default, or you can choose out specific folders that you want to sync up as well. In my case, I'm just going to go around and select just desktop right here. So all of the files in my desktop right here, it'll be synced up. So over here, the other option that you have is photos and video upload size. So you have an option to upload original quality of photos right here. So if you have a very high quality of photo, then it'll be uploaded, but the storage space will be counted. But what you can do is choose high quality photos and there's free unlimited photos for it. I mean, free unlimited storage for it, but it does reduce the visual quality a bit, but you have unlimited storage option. You also have an option to upload the photos and videos to Google Photos. So what happens is that whenever uh, some photos or videos are backed up with your uh, backup and sync from your Google Drive, it automatically gets listed out in Google Photos as well. It's a handy feature, so I'll just keep this on. Once you press next, you have the option to sync files from your drive to the folder on the computer. So let's just press got it right here. And over here, sync my drive to this folder. Right now, the folder location is C user to tube Google Drive. So I'm just going to change this out right here. And then I'm going to choose out my tube drive right here. I'm going to create a new folder right here called Google Drive. So now what happens is that all of the files will be synced onto that folder. So, when, so you have an option to sync out everything in the drive or only certain folders right here. So I'm going to sync up everything in my case and hit start. So once I do that, you can see right here that the Google Drive folder has been opened up and you have backup and sync in setting up right here. So you can see right here, this is your Google Drive folder under the tutor tube uh, drive right here. So all of the files will be synced out right here. If you were to go out right here, you can see that there's Google Drive right here. It's preparing to sync. And as it syncs out, you can see that all of the files and folder starts to appear over there. It automatically downloads all of the files and folders on your Google Drive and you can access it right here. This way, what happens is that you can uh, sync out your files in any of the computers. You can also install Google Drive in multiple computers. And what that does is it helps you to sync out files between computers as well. And that is how you set up uh, backup and sync so that all of the files appear on your drive, on your computer drive. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.